What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to bring you guys something a little interesting. I thought about this uh, a couple times as I was driving this week and I want to show you guys how to properly drive or more precisely how to properly use the paddle shifters in this car. Um, so the 10 speed transmission I believe is a really good transmission. Um, it does have its flaws though um, and you know if you don't know anything about these cars and you just get in and drive it it might feel like a terrible transmission and you know that's not necessarily the case the case may be that you just don't have it in the right modes or the right settings so uh, i'm going to walk you guys through how i drive the car and how i prefer to do it um and i will show you guys like the best way to get the most out of this transmission so let's get right on into it let's strap the gopro on and let's head for a drive all right guys we are now in the car i have the car started i'm going to run you guys through the basic modes this car comes with so as you can see here you got some different toggles this right here is the mode toggle so when we toggle that we get normal sport plus track thank you uh drag strip and snow slash wet so Obviously when you start your car, it's gonna start in a normal mode and I'm just gonna say this right now the normal mode is Well as it is normal the power is very it comes on very late if you smash the pedal to the ground It's not very responsive. Um, this is the mode that I use when I'm driving in like rainy weather I don't use the wet mode. Um, I find that the normal mode is perfectly fine. Um, it works perfectly fine um, So I usually drive the car in sport plus mode so, you know, this way I don't necessarily need to use the paddles, um, but it still holds the, you know, RPMs pretty high. And if you gun it, it'll, you know, take it all the way to red line and it'll shift it red line. It's very nice. It's really awesome, you know, and um, so it's pretty simple. I also don't usually drive in the sport mode. I use sport plus drive mode in the normal drive setting, um, as you guys can see right there. I rarely ever use the sport. I don't know if this is sport or shift, whatever it stands for. Um, but basically this mode here is if you use the paddles, then it will, it's basically manual mode. Think of the last S mode as manual mode. Um, so I usually don't drive in that. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but uh, I find that whenever I drive in the last sport mode, I use a little bit more gas. Now, you know, somebody who knows a little bit more about these Mustangs and I do can comment in the comments and let me know if that's true or not. Uh, it just from what it seems when I drive, uh, maybe I just drive like an ass, but um, whenever I drive in this mode, it seems to use a lot of gas. So, anyway, like I said, we're going to be in the Sport Plus mode. Um, that is the mode that I like to use. Um, so, I will show you guys how that mo uh, the mode drives normally uh, without using the paddles, and then I will show you a cool feature that you can do within that mode. So, um, let's strap the GoPro on to the POV cam and let us get going. All right guys, so we are going to start driving now. And like I said, I have it in Sport Plus mode in the normal drive setting. And I'm gonna start driving without using the paddles. Um, so I'm only gonna be driving normally, I guess you could say. No paddles or anything like that. Um, I, this is the mode that I like to drive in the most. Um, because it still gives you like really nice downshifts when you start braking. Um, but you know, you're, you're not committed to using the paddles. Um, and you know, to me, that's a big thing. Like, I, you know, there are days where I just want to cruise or I don't want to use the paddles. Um, so the fact that this mode lets you have the fun of the paddles without actually having to use the paddles all the time, I think is just really awesome. And it's very smooth, like, obviously it holds the RPMs a little higher than, you know, it would in normal mode, um, but it's not crazy. Um, and I just think it sounds much better when you, you know, let go of the, um, the acceleration and you're decelerating. I think it sounds very nice. You know, you get that awesome exhaust sound.
as you can see there, you know, a little pull, it holds the RPMs a little bit more than it would normally. And you can hear it. All right, so let's get on to a more main road here. So I'll try to do an example of like a more, you know, aggressive pull um, where it holds the RPMs a little bit higher than what it did there. Um, and then I'll do it again later using the paddles. All right, let's make sure I have enough room. Should I have enough room? All right, and here we go, ready? See, it held the RPMs pretty high. And if we brake, it downshifts very aggressively. But I didn't, do, I didn't use any of the paddles, nothing. I was just mashing the pedal down. And let's get back on it slowly. And it evens itself out. And there we go. Just like that. Easy as that. Have fun when you want to and cruise when you don't. So let's get off here. You get the nice downshifts though. go just like that super easy super fun too and just like that back to cruising so this is my this is why it's my favorite mode is honestly this exact reason is because you can mash it when you want to you can easily pass people um, it's super awesome and then when you don't need it it'll cruise cruise pretty easily and it sounds makes it sound really good the the, the uh, transmission is so responsive in this mode um, you know it just it feels so much better than driving in the normal mode um, like I said I drive in the normal mode when it's raining or you know if it's just crappy weather uh, because the power delivery is so different um, you mash it the foot and you put on the you know gas pedal and it takes five to eight seconds before anything happens whereas this is like two seconds and you're gone um, so, you know, those are the different, you know, those are why I drive the different modes, but there is another reason why I like this mode. Um, and that is because you can still use the paddles, um, but it doesn't commit you to making, to like only using the paddles. You can use your paddles and then after, I, I don't know the exact time, I'll count next time I do it here. Um, and we'll find out, but it's, I think, I want to say it's 10 maybe 15 seconds where if you use the paddle and then you know 10 15 seconds goes by and you don't do you don't use another paddle you don't upshift or downshift it'll just go back to driving normally um so you know that's really good for you you know racers out there if you get pulled up on on the highway and you're in cruising at you know seventh gear you can drop it down to whatever gear you want fourth third whatever it is you know you'll be able to hold it for 10 seconds and then use that gear um, and then use your paddles and then once you conclude your little adventure it'll go back to cruising so I'll demonstrate that as soon as we get to a good place to do that um, so I'll catch you when we get there all right guys we're about to get on the highway here and as you can see it's blinking down there one so I just hit the paddle and now I'm basically in paddle mode see Put the wind. You guys want to hear this? Ready? Oh yeah. So now it's in fourth. Downshift to third. And this is the great thing. So, as you can see, it's in third right now. I'm not using the paddles. And it's just holding it. Very easy. Now we're going to 
hopefully be able to get on in here. Just like that. Easy. And wait for it. Wait till we get to 4,000. Super easy. Uh, I'm not sure how long it will take, but you know, eventually, if I just don't use the paddles, if we just keep cruising like this, look at that. There it is. The number is gone, as you guys can see. Now we're just back to regular cruising mode. So, you know, if somebody pulled up on you and you needed to eight seven six five four just like that easy peasy and that's that's honestly my favorite part about it And there you go, six gear, heading off, easy. And look at that, just like that, back to regular old Sport Plus mode, I guess you can call it. Um, and that, again, like I said, that's why I do not use the regular Sport, because I just think this is just the best option. Like, if you're in the normal, quote unquote, Sport mode or Shift mode, whatever you want to call it, you know, you're fully committed to using those paddles. Um, unless you, you know, put it in drive mode. Now, I do think that eventually, like, if you don't shift while you're in that mode, um, I, I think it will actually shift for you eventually. But for the most part, it won't. It'll, you know, want you to obviously manually shift it. That's what the shift mode is. Um, so, and like I said, I'm not, it's not every day that I want to do that. You know, occasionally it's fun to do that, but um, that's why I think driving in this sport plus mode in the normal drive d setting is the best because you get the best of both of those worlds you can cruise when you want to you know and if you don't want to use the paddles and you mash the accelerator you know you'll still get great response time and it'll go all the way to red line if you want it to uh, when you're braking and you're you know going pretty fast you get the really nice downshifts um, and then again when you really want to use the paddles you have the option in that mode to use the paddles and then you use them for when you want them and then you stop using them and then you know you go back to your regular cruising mode um, so that again is really why I feel like it's the best mode um, and that's why I think a lot of people who you know get these cars or drive them for the first time you know they drive them in the normal mode and you know it doesn't it's not really that good so and your first impression you know can really sell you a car so if you don't know to put it in the sport plus mode and you're driving it in the normal mode it's gonna feel you know not like a fast car not like a fun car um, so if you're really driving it in the proper mode it'll really feel like a really fun sports car um, so that was pretty much all I had for you guys on that uh, topic. So I'm gonna, you know, do some back road driving, some POV driving, uh, let you guys hear the exhaust since it's such a nice day out. Um, and then we will end the video there. So I will see you guys at the back road. All right, guys, so we're about to hit or head on to, I guess, not hit, <laughs> about to head on to my favorite back road of all time. Um, and the first part of this set back road here has a really nice tunnel. Um, so I'm going to take my glasses off, sunglasses, so I can see through the tunnel. Um, and I will uh, roll the windows down so you guys can really hear that exhaust through the tunnel. It's unbelievably awesome. Alright, so let's turn here to 
of this back road. Let's roll the window down. So here's part one of the back road is the tunnel. Ooh. That's a juicy tunnel. Love it. Now I can see again with my sunglasses. All right. So I love this road. It's a really nice back road. It's got lots of twists and turns on it. So we'll do a little bit of the road and then I will end the video. It is still a little wet out. It rained yesterday, so I'm not gonna go crazy some fun but Again, another reason why this sport mode is awesome is because it holds your gear a little higher than it would in the normal mode. So when going through a simple back road like that, it will hold, you know, whatever gear it's in and it makes it a little bit easier to ride and drive and do fun stuff. All right, guys, that's going to end the video here. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I really appreciate you guys, you know, subscribing, you know, 30, I think I have, or not 30, whatever it is, you know, it might be, you know, whatever the subscriber amount is. I'm sorry, off the top of my head, I don't remember it, but uh, it's already amazing. And I can't believe, you know, 1.5 K views on the first video I ever did is also unbelievable to me. So thank you guys so much. Um, and if you guys know anybody who has any type of 10 speed car, whether it's a Mustang, you know, a Mach 1, whatever it might be, send them this video because um, they could be driving their car wrong. Um, anyways, guys, I appreciate it. I will catch you guys in the next video.